So, this is where the coronavirus crisis currently stands. The total number of deaths in the top 10 countries according to the World Health Organization. But how did we get here? Let's rewind and I'll let you watch it through as I know that's what you really want. And then I'll slow it down and explain what's really happening. So now you've seen the pretty graph shuffle about and you've commented that it's not as smooth as you'd hoped, let's explain what exactly is happening here. The first death was on January 9th in Wuhan, China. But our graph starts when the WHO started releasing their daily reports on the virus's spread. So by the first report on January 21st, six people had died, all in China. And this Chinese focus continued throughout the balance of January. The virus was spreading around the world at this point, and by January 31st, there are 106 cases in 19 countries, but no deaths outside of China. This changed just two days later on February 2nd, when the Philippines experienced their first fatality. But the Philippines' death toll stayed at one for weeks, while China continued to see their tally rise. So fast, in fact, that you can't actually see the Philippines' bar. Then, in the middle of February, you can begin to see other countries feature for the first time, with Iran and the Diamond Princess cruise ship both shifting towards the top of the list. However, for quite some time, these totals were far, far behind China. By February 28th, you can see Iran and Italy's bars emerge, and interestingly, the WHO declares the level of risk across the world to be very high at this point, with them previously only stating China's risk as very high. It's also around now that China's growth rate begins to slow. Cases in the country continue to rise, and they continue to push the scale of the graph forward, but as the country is able to get a grasp on the crisis, it decreases and limits the spread. That's why you can now see Iran and Italy catching up with China. It's also around the middle of March that you begin to see Italy's death rate explode. They will soon overtake China, and it's this rate of growth you can see here that really allowed that to happen. It's also around here that the crisis in Spain begins to take off. As one of the hardest hit countries today, their rise started later than in other countries. But by this point, its growth rate is far faster than China and many other countries. The UK and US growth rate also begins to increase now, with the US eventually overtaking every other country in terms of coronavirus cases. On March 20th, Italy overtakes China as the country with the highest death toll. And for the rest of the time period, you'll begin to see China slip down the list. You can see how Spain's rapid growth led to them eventually overtaking China too, with France and the United States also seeing increasing death rates. And that's where we are today. One country I didn't mention here because we were focusing on the countries with increasing death rates is South Korea. Rewind towards the beginning and you'll see that they were initially high on the list. Having the third most cases towards the end of February, before slowly slipping off the list altogether. South Korea has still suffered a significant number of fatalities, but the measures the country was able to take meant that they didn't see deaths rocket as has happened in other countries. We made a video explaining this, as well as comparing the approaches of China, Sweden, South Korea and the UK. There's a link to that video down below. And also, in reaction to the UK and US's growth on the list, we've put out videos explaining both countries' responses. It's also worth noting that some are questioning China's numbers, saying that you can't trust the official stats coming out of the country. If you'd like to see us discuss this further in another video, then be sure to comment below to let us know. Finally, we plan to update this graph every week or so, so if you want to see how the growth of the virus continues around the world, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to be notified every time we release a video.